Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I know it's been a while since I did a movie or a game review, but uh, obviously there's a lot of good films come yet to come out this, well, later this year, to be exact. Um, yeah, you got a lot of good comic book movies, which I hope are going to be good, you know. You got obviously The Avengers 2, um, of course the Fantastic Four reboot, which I hope is good, I hope it's a good reboot. Um, you got Ant-Man and so forth. But um, there was one that came out just recently, which I figured I'll get down to business with. Um, and I can't believe I didn't include this on my list. Not even an honorable mention, for Christ's sake. And that is, of course, Kingsman The Secret Service, which is based off the graphic comic strip and directed by Matthew Vaughn. And it looks really good. Um, you had Samuel Jackson, you had you know, Colin Firth, who was famous for a lot of good films, like, uh, of course, uh, King's Speech. Yeah, two films that have the, the, uh, the word king in it. But this one definitely doesn't disappoint. It's directed, of course, like I said, by Matthew Bond, and he's done some really good films. He did the first Kick-Ass movie, he did, of course, X-Men First Class. Um, I was just surprised he didn't come back to direct Kick-Ass 2, which I guess is the reason for the disappoint, somewhat disappointment behind that one. But this one, I'm happy to say, doesn't disappoint. Of course, it is an R-rated comic book movie, which wasn't the first, just like Kick-Ass. And, of course, it does revolve around a um, troubled youth whose father was, of course, lost in this Secret Service as well, and his son pretty much takes up after him. It's, you know, a typical cliché storyline, um, troubled kid, and he's got to reinvent himself and pretty much prove himself to protect uh, the whole world against uh, villains. And, of course, the villain is Samuel Jackson. Okay, I'm sorry, um, I should have explained, and obviously it does explain in a com the description box if this is going to contain some spoilers, so please excuse me if you don't want to be spoiled. You should probably not watch the rest of this video. Otherwise, yeah, pretty much that's what the storyline is, and he has to be taken into this dangerous and secret service and prove himself worthy to it with all these really cool gadgets and so forth, and yeah, I know the villain is pretty obvious. It's obviously Samuel Jackson's character, like I said before, whose plot is, of course, like always, to destroy the world. Yeah. Destroy the world which he feels is corrupted, and anybody can agree with that, but yeah. It's a pretty devious and predictable plan, and most of the stuff can be predictable in this film, but I think it's still really enjoyable. It's a kick-ass time. It is... Yeah, obviously it's Matthew Vaughn, so you can... And obviously it's an R-rated comic book movie, so you can expect a lot of violence and um, action scenes, so parents be cautioned with this one. It can... Be a little bit over gruesome with a lot of uh, you know you got the bar fight scenes you got of course um, a lot of blood but it's the kind of blood if you watch kick ass before you could probably tolerate it. it is a little bit animated and um, yeah it's kind of a mixture of James Bond and kick ass yeah sort of like James Bond meets kick ass you know with the fancy suits and of course you got the typical wine drinking and such or scotch drinking whatever and yeah, it's, it's a rocking good time. Uh, most of the first half is like, you know, in, getting them, get characters getting themselves, uh, passing the test and getting initiated into the Kingsmen Secret Service themselves. And then like, the second half, or the end half I should say, is basically foiling the villain's main plot. And it's, it requires a lot of, using a lot of cool gadgets and such, which are pretty cool. Um, you've probably seen a lot of the scenes in the trailer, and I really wish they wouldn't spoil too much in the trailers. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a really awesome good time. I really enjoyed it. Um, maybe there was a couple of scenes that maybe got a little too violent and went a little too far. Like, yeah, the church scene was a little too much. Um, it's not like Kick-Ass really didn't have any scenes that went a little too far. Like, with the, uh, you know, when the drug dealers kidnap Nicolas Cage and Kick-Ass. And, you know, they beat them to death. And Kid Girl goes in and... and tries to uh, save them. Yeah, that's, you know, it's Matthew Vaughn. You have to know what to expect. You know, you got the head explosion sequence, which, you know, turns into fireworks, and they play the British theme and all that stuff, and with the gadgets and the underground, like, passageway to get, you know, from the, like, from the tailor's shop to uh, the mansion is really cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cursing in it as well, and um, one scene with uh, rear nudity as well. So, yeah, as I said, parents be cautioned with this one, but it's otherwise a great time if you can handle all the violence and suggestive content and stuff. 
And yes, there is actually a scene during the credits, and it should really come as no surprise. It basically rehashes a scene from the beginning of this movie. And yeah, I guess it's just, you could say son taken after father type of scenario. And, you know, because his, his stepfather is abusive type of thing. So otherwise, a great film. I definitely recommend it. I can't believe, once again, I didn't include this on my list, but I guess it's one I just heavily overlooked until I actually went to see it. Well, I didn't overlook it. I knew it was going to be good. It's directed by Matthew Vaughn, as I said before. But overall, rocking good time with a it deserves a rock and remote B motion plus up and a clean winner mode up. I think that's fair. So, till next time, keep watching.